Okay, now these are, um, with, uh, with amateur radio, when you make uh, coaxial interconnections, they're normally sort of curved cables um, with RG213 or uh, that sort of uh, RG214, that sort of cable. Um, and there's usually, um, the, the, the connections between one unit and another are usually done with these cables and they sort of loop around. With the broadcasting uh, stuff, the, the bends in the coax are at right angles. And um, if you look at on the tops of the transmitters, there'll be a connection that will come out of the top of the transmitter, maybe this one here, um, will plug directly into the top of the transmitter and then go off to the left hand side. So it's, uh, it's at right angles. Um, I'll put my hand in there so you can get an idea of the, uh, the size of, uh, of that one. There's a small one down there you can probably use for your, uh, for your HF linear. Inch and five eighths. That's an inch and five eighths, that one. So that's the, uh, that's the, uh, that's, that's the smallest one here. And uh, there's a couple of others here that... Uh, three and an eighth. That's, that's a garbage size. So this one here is a three and an eighth. No, this, no is this, the, this is the three, three and an eight. eight. Yeah. I think that's four or four and an eight or four and a half. Yeah, that's a six. I think. That's a six. Yeah, that's about as big as they go. <laughs> and, and, and of course, when you need to test on the end of that, you, you just grab out your handy adapter. Oh yeah, fantastic. To adapt from yeah. Well, that's from four or five inch down to yeah an end connector, so you can test your test, put your test Actually, equipment on. Can it. I? Uh, I'm just trying to think how I can get that in there without. Yeah. Right, and uh, this, it actually looks like something from the Wizard of Oz, doesn't it? But it's, a, <laughs> it's uh, an adapter, so you can go from an end connector, so you can put your, uh, you can put your test equipment on there, um, to the large coaxial, so if you've got a big coaxial feeder, or you've got a big coaxial uh, antenna selector panel like that. Again, I'll put my hand on it so you can get the size of it. That's a six inch, did you say? No, it's. No, that's probably only four. That's probably a four, four inch. Four and eight, four and a half. But that's a coaxial adapter. So from that size to the end connector. So if you were checking, uh, checking an antenna system or something like that, you can put your test equipment on there, and uh, you could uh, you could even put your bird through line on there. And uh, could I hope not. Probably not with a four inch diameter. Normally you'd be testing return loss or something, so you'd be letting it work out. That's right, yeah. Yeah, you probably wouldn't have a. I'd hate to put a bird through. Yeah. You wouldn't get down from, you know, 20 odd kilowatts to. Nah. Through an end connector in RF. Nah, okay. What? Maybe. Yeah, so, so this is what you would use to put your, uh, your network analyzer on just to make sure the antenna system was all good to go before you connect your high power transmitter to it. So there we go, some right angled, uh, some right -angled coaxial connectors. Uh, there are the different sizes there, of the uh, various different sizes of the coaxial uh, connectors and, uh, and the adapter. Okay, well, I hope you found that interesting. Uh, thanks for watching.